Hello and welcome to the latest update on the work that Dorset Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service has undertaken in the last few months. I'm Brad Stevens and I'm the Group Manager for Resilience and Risk across the service. One of the roles of our team is to manage and work with partners across the local resilience forums known as LRFs to plan for and respond to significant events across our region. Sadly, on the 8th of September, the announcement was made that Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II had died. We worked with our partners to enact Operation London Bridge with the period of national mourning observed across the service. Just a few months before, at the start of June, our stations had embraced Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, supporting a range of events in their local areas. This was another busy period for the resilience team. With information about the Jubilee beacons and various road closures for street parties needing to be managed. This was the start of a very busy couple of months. So let's take a look at some of the other things we've been involved in. As we all know, it's been a hot summer and this means it's been even busier for us. The heat wave prompted a huge fourfold increase in fires over the first 10 days of August compared to the same period last year. Alongside our multi-agency working, the resilience team also held internal business continuity meetings triggered by both the heat health alerts and the wildfire warnings. During this time, alongside attending numerous property fires and road traffic incidents, our crews had to deal with multiple large heath fires, a number of concurrent field fires during harvest, a fire on the cliffside in Bournemouth, a field fire involving solar panels and several lorry fires. There were also incidents where we needed to work even more closely with our partners. We had a very large fire on Salisbury Plain in July, where a helicopter was used to drop water using a 1000 litre bucket. This was a technique used to great effect at Wareham Forest in 2020 and helped bring this latest incident to conclusion more quickly. Also in July, we had a devastating fire at All Saints Church in Mudderford near Christchurch, which destroyed much of the building despite the best efforts of our firefighters. Just two days after the fire, the church congregation held an open air service which was attended by representatives from Christchurch Fire Station and BCP Council. At Studland, a large fire broke out in August at the local nature reserve, and we worked with a range of other agencies, including the National Trust, Dorset Police, Dorset Council, local Coast Guard teams, and even the military, when unexploded ordnance was uncovered by the fire. During this busy period, we worked with partners on fire prevention messaging, using social media and taking up opportunities with local, regional and national newspapers, radio and television to highlight the risks. As well as continuing our Bring a Picnic, Not a Barbecue campaign, we also targeted the rural community where we were experiencing fires involving farm machinery and crop fields. The exceptionally hot and dry weather over the summer meant we had to increase our warning and informing role, not just for fires, but for outdoor safety as well. World Drowning Prevention Day was on the 25th of July and we used social media to promote some vital safety messages. Call 999 and ask for the fire rescue service inland and Coast Guard at the coast. The COVID-19 pandemic meant community events were pretty well cancelled over the past couple of years, so it has been wonderful to see local crews out and about again this summer. We were pleased to support the Pride events in both Salisbury and Bournemouth, with staff from across the service actively promoting our inclusive community role. These are great opportunities to have a really positive conversations with people of all ages and backgrounds about everything from safety in the home to recruitment. Another positive this summer has been the return of fire station open days, 
These have already taken place at Stratton, Wareham, Westbourne, Tisbury, Ferndown and Bridport. The support of local people for these events has been amazing. Money has been raised for the firefighters charity and other good causes and it's been a great way to promote the service as an employer of choice, especially to anyone thinking of becoming an on-call firefighter. We are always looking for new ways to collaborate with partners and back in June, the instructors at Westbourne's Training Centre hosted a joint leadership and team building day for squadron of soldiers from Blanford Garrison before they went on deployment to Estonia. This planned event, designed to enhance our joint working arrangements, saw a number of different scenarios set up, including safe working near water, search and rescue, firefighting and road traffic collision skills. The day was a great success. During June, around 2,800 Year 6 children from Wiltshire and Swindon attended Junior Good Citizen. This is a multi-agency education event that has been running for nearly 20 years, where we work with partners including Wiltshire Police, Wiltshire Council and Swindon Borough Council to teach vital life skills to children aged 10 and 11. Our focus was around electrical items, especially how to charge mobile devices safely. Also in June, Paul Whitewatch joined the RNLI, the Royal Navy and other organisations at the RNLI headquarters in Paul to support their Women in Engineering Day. 60 female students from local secondary schools undertook a selection of tasks set by the technical rescue team. As well as testing their teamwork, design and building skills, the day promoted diversity and challenged the stereotypes of roles within engineering and other careers, such as the fire and rescue service. Our fire safety team are busy planning for the new fire safety regulations that are due to come into force next January. Introduced as a result of the Grenfell Tower public inquiry, these will apply to multi-occupied residential premises. Please check out our website for more information about the new requirements for different heights of buildings. Our fire safety inspectors were also busy during the summer planning for a number of large public events such as Bournemouth Air Festival. They play an essential role in delivering this event, making sure that exhibitors and traders alike are working in a safe and lawful way. With thousands of people descending on the area over the four days, it was also a busy time for those of us in resilience. We worked with local station management to make sure we had the right resources available supported the event planning and worked with partners to identify any potential risks or threats and everything went to plan. Overall, it's been a busy and eventful summer for everyone involved across the service. I hope you've enjoyed our update and if you'd like any more information, then please visit our website. Thank you and stay safe.